a full house to farewell a grand chief. Gifts from some of Papua New Guinea's thousand tribes were presented for the man credited with uniting them all. He brought freedom and independence to this country. People wept as Sir Michael Samare's casket entered the stadium, the same place where he lowered the Australian flag and lifted the PNG flag for the first time in 1975. Amidst an unprecedented and dangerous spike in COVID-19 cases in the country, the Samare family asked people to watch the funeral from home. But thousands packed the stadium and even more gathered outside. People were asked to wear masks, but few did. A daughter who shared her father with eight million others says she was proud to do so. I'm proud to say my father, Michael Samare, dreamed Papua New Guinea into existence. The current Prime Minister, James Marape, among those to honour PNG's first and longest serving leader. In Australia, flags flew at half-mast today as a mark of respect and a wreath was laid among the tributes. And important for us to remember his place in our history as well. The Grand Chief's casket will now be flown to his home province for further commemorations before a burial. Sir Michael's death has had a profound effect on people here, but health workers are worried that mass gatherings like this could lead to an even greater spike in COVID cases across the country. Natalie Whiting, ABC News, Port Moresby.